what I was doing, or trying to do, um, is trying to get my character Natoth named after a character from Babylon 5. If you know who she is, you know who she is, and you would know why I would name my work after her. Uh, doesn't look like her, other than the green, really. Um, but she's also wearing, not just wearing that, or heritage armor. At some point, I gotta pull that quest out and save it as a highlight. But, um, so yeah, it's, uh, I, I had gone through an entire dungeon going, like, okay, she's gonna get to 70 this time. She's gonna get to 70 this time, Walking Dungeon. Um, and, um, did, if you want to see how close she got, I'll show you when this loads. Um, she got super, super close. And I was just like, no, come on. I'm not going to run through another dungeon just to, to get what are just piddly points. What I'm going to do is just have her fly around in my nodes. Um, and she should get to 70 extremely quickly. Uh, I, I have her literally just like circling Veldraken. Um, finding notes. I wanted to get at least a couple of other characters up to, um, up to 70. Um, my goal is we're hitting about we're hitting the, they're beginning past the first quarter of this expansion. Um, we're about to hit 10.1 soon, um, and I want to have at least... Because you can only mail certain things from if you have you know, Horde and Alliance characters, and I have them on two separate servers, so I can't mail... I, I wish they would change that. They just... They can open up the mixed guilds. They should be able to, like, allow you to send mail to your own characters. Unless it's account-bound, I can't send it. Um... So I need to have a roster of item makers, crafters, on both sides. But also for any of the cool drops, like the Elemental Overflow stuff that you're getting from uh, the Elemental Army you're getting from um, Forbidden Reach and elsewhere, all the Elemental good stuff. Um, I need a roster, you know, want to make sure I have enough plate wearers, chain wearers, <laughs> leather, weather, leather wearers, and cloth wearers to like grab all the stuff. And that became a bit daunting because I was trying to figure out how to keep track of all of them. And as it turned out, um, I had to go and make a spreadsheet. Not that I'm averse to that. I tend to make spreadsheets for a lot of things in my life. Uh, so this is no different. But I had to make a spreadsheet and I put all my characters in except the ones that I use for the gnome run and the troll run because they're never going to really get above like level three. But um, all the rest of them in order of preference of who gets which armor first, what arm, what slots they have. Uh, not with the not even didn't go so far as to say what item level each piece was, but pretty much I had it flagged if the gear is over 385, you know, if it's 385, it gets like, it gets a green slot. Um, the Abrus LFR begins at 390, so ideally I can get some higher level pieces on them. Um, on the ones I plan on actually running through LFR or Abaris. I'm hoping Arlea can jump right into normal Abaris and bypass LFR entirely, except for Mogs. Uh, she's she's now 402 or 403, so I think she might be able to get into normal groups. It depends. I have to see what the group I'm running does. <sighs> Side note, got so close to getting ahead of the curve on Friday, it wasn't even funny. Um... And it was like full, all bosses, no skipping, what's her face. Um, and I didn't, if, if when I died during all of the boy bosses before Resigeth, when I died, it was usually the same time everybody else died. So it was like something went wrong across the board. It wasn't a dumb thing I did. So the fact that I actually survived for every boss until we got to Resigeth, then I did two, then out of the four deaths, Two of them was me not paying attention, um, getting stunned right, getting stunned in the direction of breath of her of her breath. That was I was like, oh, because you could you you know you see that you're stunned, you're like I'm not gonna be able to move in time, and you're like, 
you could see your your death coming. It, it's just worse than like, oh, don't, I, yeah. So, and the second time was just, I didn't realize that the group was doing the, um, the mechanics slightly differently than I was used to, and I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. But the other two times that I died, including the last one, like, look, every, it looks like everybody's tired. I was standing. I was on the last few standing. So I was doing good dodging stuff and interrupting stuff and doing all of those things, and that gave me confidence. And um, We'll see. Uh, there's no plans to try to take Raz down until the reset on Tuesday, so it's a little sad because, you know, I'm so close, and then it's going to be impossible to get in two weeks. So, well, and you know, I've never had a head of the curve before, so me not getting it this time, not a huge thing. If I'm going to get it for anything, I'd rather get it for Avarice. Um, so, you know, there are certain, <laughs> there are certain other ones I wish I had gotten it for, I just didn't. But, but this one, you know, I'm, I'm willing to, I'm willing to let it go. Um, the only, the other thing that annoys me is certain recipes, um, particularly, um, it's Arlea, the one who pretty much has all the recipes at this point. Except for the ones you can only get in the raid. And apparently those are all going to move to Avarice. I'm like, great. The cauldron recipe that only drops in... I think it only drops in Heroic. <laughs> Fall to the Incarnates. Will now only drop in Heroic of Avarice. So I'm like, oh god. So I'm never going to see that. Uh, unless I get really lucky. I'm just like, come on. And, and yeah, on the, I haven't seen it on the, the auction house either. That and there's a cooking recipe that I saw in some one of 20,000 20, gold for it. I was like, oh, hell no. No, I would, and that's just from a fishing bottle. And that's a matter of luck when fishing. And I'm just, you know, what? I'd rather spend all my time fishing than giving you 20,000 gold because that's ridiculous. Um, anywho, where was I? Yes, um, Natoth needs, you see this? Look at that. What's it like? needs about like 3,000, 4,000 more experience. So she also needs to get her mining up. So we're going to catch, we're going to free two birds with one hand. That sounds kind of maybe dirty. But anyway, what I'm trying to do is I don't like to kill two birds with one stone say. I like birds, and there's no reason to kill them. I thought I took care of some of the lag. It was playing better earlier, but okay. I mean, it's it, it almost always happens on, on Dragon Riding, so... The cats are starting to act up. Oh, please don't make me have to. Particle density taking a while. Okay. Oh, great. Sure. Fine. Whatever. <laughs> so yeah, um, I think it's Dark Heart Thicket. Is the name of the dungeon I was in. That I was, I was sure that at the end of that would have gotten it. We skipped a boss. We skipped the dragon boss. So I'm just like. I don't know why. Maybe I should kill this rare. See, we'll see how quickly I die. Um, but uh, oh, yeah, this looks good. This this looks like I'm not gonna die at all. Where are you? I don't even see you. Where are you? Uh, where are you? Okay, he's around. Where are you, sir? Oh, he's on top of that. Making little sparks. It's funny, when I'm on Arlea and I have to go up against these, uh, I've, I've fought him before on Arlea, um, and I have to go up against these primalists that are dark, that are um, night elves, I get mad. 
I get mad. Need to get closer. I actually get mad. I'm like, I, I take it personally. I actually take it personally that a night elf would would sink so low. As as an orc taking it on, that, yeah, it's, I don't feel quite as I don't feel quite as uh, invested. But um, yeah, let's just let's use all use all my cooldowns. I just want to take this this dude out. There was one thing I was trying to take out the other day, and that was on my my demon hunter. Oh, straight up. I have myself healed. I need to remember I have it. And I have an interrupt that I can't always use. Um, I was on my demon hunter the other day. And the other day being yesterday, apparently. And okay, I'm not gonna interrupt you. And I was fighting a rare and it kept killing me, kept killing me. I was like, it just it kept Yep, there we go. All right, all right. Find some picked up cloth. Thank you for something I can't equip. I can't learn. <sighs> all right, let's go back to Beldrick. There's nothing more than like, oh, cool, something dropped that I haven't, and it's something I can't learn because I am a plate wearing its cloth. Well, Makes no sense. It, you should be able to do it backwards. I don't have a cloth wearer where a cloth wearer can't put on plate to learn it. it doesn't make sense. Right. You can equip it. Razagat's storm has abated. It is time to return to the Forbidden Reach and search for survivors, and seek answers about the Drakthir's past. So that's the beginning of the Forbidden Reach quest line. You jump, you can jump right to it um, as soon as you hit 70. But she's not. <laughs> she's not going to do that. What she's going to do right now, she's going to take her last skill, which I think is... I think it should be Elysian Might. I think so. Um, we're gonna take a look at her professions. I don't think she has any more additional knowledge points to attribute. No, it's not that. See what gear she got, none of which she can equip. That's so awesome. She did get these, which are new. Time warp. She got that from the last the last dungeon she wrote. But she also this makes me so mad. Um the fact that the hand wraps it's it's cloth and would be an upgrade is also kind of funny. But we're not gonna worry about that because I have many she made herself a whole bunch of armor like. that she's gonna put on right now. Some of the time walking stuff might actually be better. I'll auction out when she gets a chance. So we're gonna throw her over to the uh, to the bank because she can she make she can make armor and she can make weapons. So she went ahead and did that, <laughs> and she could do uh, uh, just call it pentagold. Uh, and Otalias and came up with that, but it's it, it. I know what it means when I say it. So we're gonna deck her out all, all stuff she made, <laughs> which thankfully looks like it's all an improvement. She has her own axes. She made wait, that's I mean, technically, I think the sword is slightly better, but whatever. But my helmet. She's got a 
chief. How did she not have that already? No. I don't want her to wear the, uh, I'd rather she have this set and see if I could upgrade it. I mean, she's about ready to have the, uh, the other set too. Oh, well, apparently she was able to equip that chest guard earlier. We're gonna see if we can upgrade her armor. Uh, I don't like the set. Uh, the... That's the right chest piece. the same damn piece. Except for some reason one will show up in gold and the other one won't. I don't know. She's at 310 now. So what I'm gonna do is, well, first of all, change her ugly ass armor into something else because I don't I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that all that whole gold scheme thing going on. It's a little it's a little much so let's get her out of that. Do our quick little mod back. And that's better. Many deals for a friend of the Grummels. He's like you. And then briefly what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take over to Anvil. So I never know if someone who comes up to me if like they need to use my yak. So then I was like, wait a few moments so they could use my yak. That's a lion, so I don't know if they can use my yak. Because what I hate is I hate I'm in the middle of using a yak and then someone like runs away. <laughs> I find it very annoying. Um, well, let me go down here. Because I want to... No, I want an anvil. Relax with you. Does that allow me to... I make stuff on here. What I want to do is I want to recraft craft equipment. I could make it from 343 to 343. That accomplishes nothing. What about the chest piece? It's 316. Can I add something to it? If I do that. I could change from 316 to 343. That's the item level. What's the armor level? Much better. So let's do that. Recraft. Okay, let's see what else. Let's do the boots. Now the thing is, I don't have another piece. Three forty-three, three forty-three, three sixty. 
I think part of the problem is, is I made these pieces earlier. Like before I was the right level and I don't I don't have enough to do that with. Meh, meh, meh. I could always just make another set of braces though. And let's see how that goes. Yeah, I probably made them earlier on and then These are 316. Shit. Uh, are they better than mine? Than what I have? No. Alright, let's... I don't know. I know there's a place to get them. Those bits. But I don't know where. Let me see. No, you're mining. Mining doesn't help. I need blacksmithing. See, I know for alchemy, I can. Uh, alchemy, I have like a whole bunch, but they're bind on. They're bind on pickup, which is useless to me. Because there are. I don't think there are any alchemy spells. Minus wires and cold tears, right there. I know there's like a beginner stage version Appreciate of them. The patronage. That you can get, like, you can get the weakest ones, you can buy them. I need to get all of these. I'm trying to hold off buying all of them because I know that you can get... When you have other characters, they reach a certain level of renown, they, uh... You get it as a gift. There's more stuff. Um... I think all the stuff is also sold. They are, they are now all with the Quartermaster as well. It was originally, I think, all spread out all over the place, and then finally the Quartermaster. I need to look at those bits and figure out how to get them. Um, I'm not leaving here until I get so, Titan Training Matrix. I know something sells them. Because I, I see it all the time on Arlea. But... an idea of who's going to have it, if anyone. Because, as usual, Google is useless. Google, as usual, is completely useless when it comes to find to doing searches. All it is is, here's a bunch of videos of people telling you for 20 hours how they used all these things. I'm like, I just need to know who sells them. Thank you. She's gonna let me pick something out. Let's keep it real. If you ever need anything, 
Nope. Be careful out there. Browns at your leisure. I'll pick that up. I'll pick that up too. Yeah, I think I already got that. You don't sell them. Keep an eye out for anything useful. You're not helpful. So, someone over here, perhaps? Welcome to the Dragon Isles. I know someone sells them. I just can't remember who. That's going to be so annoying. Glory to Ugh. All right. I know if I I know if I drive myself crazy with this, and I spend a, a, a whole bunch of time trying to get the crap. The city's finest wares. Uh, uh, that's what I thought it was. It's actually a philosopher's stone. It's not that. Okay, understandable. So, my hope is she ends up getting enough of the the new stuff for me to not even care about the bracelet right now. What I need to do is I need to mark her level as level 70 and her eye level somewhere. I'm going to log, as we're logging and relogging back in, I'll be conferring with my spreadsheet <laughs> as to where she is. Um, she's level 314, level 7. You won't see me in my spreadsheet. So, I mean, yeah, I got two, like, level 62s up to level 70 two days. Um, just time walking. What was her? I forgot what her eye level was. Oh my god. I wish I could rewind myself back in time. I think it was 314. Just so I how is she too? I think she's 314. She has no plate gear though. My human warrior. Has most of the gear except for neck. Either one of the rings or trinket, but probably one of the rings she's going to pick up is going to be the amulet from Forbidden Reach. So, because I know she can get that right away. All right, let's look at that again. Three fourteen. I don't know, see. All right, let's log out again. So, spreadsheet done. Ah. <laughs> uh, And really, as far as like the one, there's, I want to at least get, one of my leather wearers, one of my other leather wearers to 70. Because I mean, even my, my demon hunter is pretty well geared at this point. Okay, it's Matori's turn. So, Matori, what we're doing is we're going to get her through the rest of Eldrick. That's my hope at 10, 17 p.m. on a Sunday night. I should get her through the final of Eldrick in quest. Let's have her on here. Okay. What does she have in the mail? Who sent it to her? Ah. Just random mail bits that came that were there just to make sure that we have it for Mogs. Just making sure. 
Just got much better gear. Yeah, I don't know where she picked those up, but in any case, I had her buying, like, rep stuff, and then I was like, ugh, she can't even get all of it, but... I have many, many wares. Kind of low on material, like on gold at the moment. <laughs> Hard to be messing around too much with that. Well, she's low on, um, she's low on, uh, that's fine. I didn't want you to stay around anyway. She's low on, um, Dragon Owl supplies. <laughs> Extremely low. She has one left. <laughs> so. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get her Let me close my browser. Try to take some of the strain off of my computer. Um, so what we're gonna do we're gonna do My map wasn't. <sighs> I think I forget which one comes first, the sealed door. Or cheer hold. I think Busy Street. I think they'll track in a court. We're gonna do the sealed door. The sealed door I remember hating very much on Orlea. We'll see how it goes this time. I have to remember where the hell it is. It's a Dragon Scale Expedition. Okay. Heck, I may as well get grab them all at the same time. Because I think I'm also going to Tearhold as well. Moving on, speak with Alex Straza, Hidden Legacies. That's for the Forbidden Reach. So we're not going to do the Forbidden Reach yet. We are going to grab the other one that's, since both of these are relatively in the same area, we're going to multitask. Let's see if I can take a little bit more, close more stuff and take a little bit more of the strain off my system. It's a little weird because I had crisscrossing quests to turn in. So Alex Jessica kept disappearing. Hey Alex, how you doing? You gonna stay here this time? Go away. So we're going to do Legacy of Cheerhold. All oaths don't have been restored begins the next step. Um, Keeper Cheer did love his mysteries, clearly. There's a deeper meaning to the gift. Yeah, mark it here. As he most likely forged the scale. <sighs> Let's try that again. The Legacy of Cheerhold. Keeper Tear did love his mysteries. Clearly there is a deeper meaning to the gift he gave us. As he most likely forged the scale at his former citadel, perhaps will be key to helping unlock its secrets. Go with Karanos to Tearhold, Matori. As I trust as a trusted advisor and watcher of this land, I'm sure he will have insight into this matter. Investigate the silver scale with Karanos at Tearhold. Tearhold may have the answers we seek. 
Watcher Koronos knows those halls well. He can guide you on your journey. As the Dragon Queen wishes. I shall meet you there, hero. Okie dokie. He's just gonna walk off now. Just gonna go take the teleporter. He's just gonna walk there. He's gonna he's gonna walk to your hole. Okay. <laughs> it's a long way, buddy. Now moving on. From pain we draw I think I'm not sure what that all life is thing. All the oath stones have been restored. This is wonderful news, Motori. With each activation, our flights have been renewed to their purpose once more. Now there is but one final step before our spectral powers can be restored. I must activate the Mother Oath Stone. It has been centuries since it has been seen, let alone used. I will require some time to prepare for the activation ritual. We are ever closer to being the protectors of Azeroth we were meant to be. I thank you, friend of Dragonkind. Your assistance has been a blessing to our flights. Safeguard all life. Okay, so now when I do this, you will unlock adventure mode. I'm already in adventure mode. <laughs> you only have to do this once. Um, and basically what that is, is you finish the main um, Veldrak and Accord quest line. As you had all the, the pillars here. The last one you do is no storm mode. Campaign complete. World quests unlocked. Adventure mode unlocked. Eight of factions closed. So, just don't ask me to spell it. So she gets the, um, she gets the achievement too, but I had already had that unlo all unlocked on Arleia. So that's all done. Um, Kallik, what's up? Uh, Nazi. All right, so we're going to do, let me just see if Captain Drine, um, <laughs> I, forget his, I forgot his name. Um, I serve the aspects. If he has Glory to in the area, bottom of the sea, the aspects. Go swiftly. And look to the overlook. Report back. Uh, no, I don't want to do stand strong. I'm just I'm putting Arleia through most of the most of the uh, all the side quests and doing all that. Like she's gonna do. Hardcore 10.1, day one, as soon as I can log on and it's not a complete mess and nothing's exploding. She's going to uh, dive right in and uh, do the quest line, and I will be streaming that. So, make sure Harleya is dressed for those cutscenes. <laughs> Those ever important cutscenes. So I'll, it'll be nice to get first experience footage on her, because um, I also I view it through the char this particular character's perspectives. Like she, uh, stuff that transpires is going to affect Arleia differently than you know Matori or Natal. So. We're not doing hidden legacies yet, because that's that's forbidden reach. So Escarins of old used to create fishing lures by extracting magic from the water elementals around the temple. That's good. I'm not. Would I'm not dealing with you right now. For us? Sorry, Elder Poa. No offense. I can't deal with you right now. I got other work to do. All right. Now this one I think comes in two p two parts. Ah, I could use your expertise. When is the very painful part of which this is? Yeah, that was Let me know what you find. Here we are. If we're going to get past this door, we need to understand who locked it and how. Take a look around and see if we can find anything that might give us the answers we seek. Search the area for clues. I look forward to hearing what you've learned.
the top of the steps known as the finial. It looks like something was on top of was on this one. I think. The other one doesn't have a head or a finial, for that matter. <laughs> Broken watcher staff. A broken staff, unfortunate. These watches are were integral to the socket mechanism. We need to find a way to replace or repair this. All right. Um, I, I don't know. What do you want me to do, lady? Okay, let me inspect the door. Interesting. I don't see an obvious locking mechanism. Tyson devices are never that simple, though, are they? You can kind of scream and randomly press buttons like Bran. You seem like to have more sense than Bran. I have answers if you have questions. We'll need more to go on than this. Remember, there's magic in discovery. Uh oh. The watchers have observed much over the much over the years. Many of them are lost to the vagaries of time, but we still have Karnos. Speed to Karnos and Veldragon. Okay, I've missed all this dialogue. More questions and no answers. Have you tried knocking? That's Toddy Whiskers. Where is Toddy? Toddy? Where is, is Toddy nearby? Why is she yelling at me? By the sun, well, Toddy. We'll need to reach outside the Dragon's Nest for the observatory. Can you speak to Carlos? He may know something. Now, Keep an I'm eye out for anything pretty sure... He's probably not going to be in Valdrakken, because I just got him to go over here. But I can see, maybe I can, maybe I can ask him about it here. And then I'll have to go all the way back to Valdrakken and find out he's not there, and then come back here and then realize I have to do that quest first. So let's see. <laughs> let's see. Let's see if that will work. This area gives me Ajita because it's full of elites that want to bash my face in, and I don't want my face bashed in. There's Karanos. He should be. But he's not there. Do I need that bubble popping now? Okay, so here we have Alexstrasza. Alexstrasza's here. <laughs> Karanos is over there. Okay, so excuse me, excuse me, Alexstrasza. I'm gonna go over here first. Let us see if the scale interacts with the consoles of the whole. I've got three this quests intersecting at the same time in the same spot. Sorry, Karanos. Can you answer my other question? No, you can't. So, all right, here's what we're gonna do. I know Alex Straz is, uh, it feels wrong to do her quest before this, though. So, I'm going to, uh, I wanna do things in the order that they occur in game, in the story, and the scale should, or, I don't think it has to come before Raz again, but let's, Let's do Alex Strasser first. I will listen. Space seems clear enough. Treasure the gift you have been. The Mother given. Oathstone is an ancient gift was set upon a flights by the Titans. If what we have learned is true, I might be able to reactivate it and in doing so restore our spe spectral powers. We were unsure of the outcome. If this has the slightest chance of working, I must attempt it. Matori, I would appreciate if you would join me in this. This is Alex Traza at the Mother Oldstone. From pain. Our final task is upon us. Please join me once more. Alright. Sure thing, Alex. I got you back. I'm just pretty sure this is gonna go to a cutscene. We'll see. Where there is life, I am ready there to is begin. Hope. Life endures. See, cutscene. I owe you my thanks. You have helped the Dragonflights remember our calling. With the Oath Stones renewed, we can finally reclaim our aspectral power.
this has to work. Nothing? But the Oath Stones were renewed. How is this possible? <laughs> it seems your titans have abandoned you. Razagath, what have you done? You proved yourself unworthy. All on your own, queen of the dragons. Now, it is our time. Oh my goodness. Apparently my Wi-Fi choked out at that very moment. It appears, like I notified elsewhere, it's like Wi-Fi restored. All right. Meanwhile, where were we? Yes, I had to fight this. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right, let's lay down some totems. Totems. Here, let me get at my elemental. Thank you, sir. I mean, the upside is at least... You are not dying fast enough. That is upsetting me. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. I, mean, I have technically an account. Account. No, you don't. No, 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 that's not how that works. Where are you? I'm out of range. I need to get closer. <sighs> My poor Earth Elemental is like, I don't have a range attack. Nazi, for real, your, your ability to predict things is lacking. Okay. All that matters is what happened, this Matori? moment. Where's Alstrasa? <sighs> no storm. You balance upon the cusp of destiny. We've come so close to recovering our powers. Should Razagat succeed before our powers return, I fear that the Timeways will bend to a dark future for all of Azeroth. We must not allow this to occur, Matori. Hurry, you must find and aid Alexstrasza before all is lost. Locate Alexstrasza, I know where she is. Be mindful. Don't worry, my dude. I know where she is. Uh, you stay there. Um, that ground is still bubbling from the boss battle I just had. Kuranos is waiting for me to do, talk there, and then once I'm done with him, I have to go talk to Nalita over there, and it's a whole thing. So let me go find Alex Straza. Go find her. I know where she is. Go find her. Right, I found this earlier today on, on my uh, on Natoth, my warrior. I don't even know if I have this one on, on um, Arlea. Come on, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> All right, apparently I'm going to need more than one try on this. I thought I could land 
that time. <sighs> I'm gonna get this flag, damn it. She's gonna get this flag. I'm trying not to be distracted by too much, but this one I noticed earlier today. And I was And this time it looks like there's sound. And it looks like there was sound recorded. And there's horns outside my window. It is just one of those evenings. I'm hoping the tech gods are, are merciful for the rest of the evening. And let me finish this up. Um, where were we? Yes, I had done this flag thing. I believe I caught that on the little tiny maker's dream. It's, yeah, I don't know... So, yeah. Where were we? We were finding Alexstrasza. Well, at least, you know, my mom got a chance to recharge. Yes, yeah, straight ahead. We're going to Vault of the Incarnates. I, I don't think she's actually been there yet, Matori. Well, uh, she can grab... Nope, she can grab the fight point. Laggy, laggalicious. It's so laggy. I love it. If I pretend I like lag, I'll be with you in a second, Alex. Just let me grab this first. Why is Nerazal Nir the unfortunate one that has to be there? Anyway. All life is worth saving. Fair skies and Let's strong be, uh... winds. Vault of the Incarnates, Fury of the Storm Eater. No, we locked the Incarnates away to save this world, and now Razagat seeks to free them. She cannot succeed, Matori. All life on Azeroth is in grave danger. We do not stop her. I shall return to Nos Dorm. I shall return to Nos Dorm at the seat of the Aspects to plan for whatever is to come. But do not worry. I will not leave you without aid. Caligos and Cadgar will be sent to join you as you venture through the Vault. Good luck, champion. Enter the Vault of the Incarnates and defeat Razagat. So, I am going to accept not decline, my dear. Life so, in there we go. So, she's going to turn into a dragon fly off, or she can't take a, she can't take a taxi. I'm tired of flying. She's like, no, I'm just going to turn into a uh, That's rude. <laughs> that's rude. It's rude. It's rude, Alex. Just saying. Uh, so, Clyde. So let me actually, I'm going to go back to... I offer you my aid. I'm not do going there. Uh, I think flying might seek. be the fastest way. Sorry. Not going, to uh, not going to take advantage of your services. Now I think I have to do, in order to be able to talk to Karanos... I mean, I'm gonna. Try, I'm actually gonna go back to the city access. Um, we haven't seen it. This is the exact spot in a midland right here. Um, the opening cinematic. It's loud. That. Uh... I feel the waking of the Isles. Hello, champion, and welcome to Valdraken. How may I help you? Well, we welcome to the dragon. <laughs> it's not the first time I'm meeting, my friend. Um, I'm here on behalf of the Dragon Skull Expedition. What can you tell me about the Sealed Titan facility near Tearhold? We will return these isles to their glory. A Sealed Titan facility? I do not rejoice. Perhaps the logs recently restored by the Blue Dragon Flight hold some answers. Oh. <laughs> Finish reading. Look through those records and see what can be found. Watch your Karanosis. We are watchers at <laughs> Yeah, I have to figure out how to do overlays and stuff, because I don't have, like, 
anything for chat showing. I think you go right over here. Yeah, I did remember this. Like chat overlays. Not that I have so many people chatting. I have nobody chatting. It's me, myself, and I. I can watch it though. I can watch it. Um, I'm using my iPad as a second screen. How do I get to this place? Oh my god, I went in a circle. Sometimes it's easier to just like walk there than fly. Sapphire Enclave. I yes, it's in here. Where I pick up the the weekly dungeon quest. They they haven't spawned yet, but that's where I already pick it up. So yeah, if I can get OBS's. Oh, I guess this is. Oh. <laughs> I just remembered something about this this quest. Mr. Biscuits. Mr. Biscuits. Okay. Read the first entry. Um, the Watcher Log is ancient. <laughs> the Watcher Log is ancient. Now I've lost my place. I, I am, I am fond of Mr. Biscuit. Um, the Watcher Log is ancient, but intact. Flipping through it, a page catches your eye. Tear emerged from the facility and immediately turned to the three Watchers. For me, she commanded them to remove the stones atop their staves and pass them to the draconic citizens at three points across the Dragon Isles. They were never to speak of this place, and upon return, return, upon return, were to keep watch until the forms, until their forms turn to dust. The page continues on the following. The record continues on the following pages. Read the second entry. I forgot to read the first entry. For the Stone of Insight, he guided them to Saurus Skeleth, a draconic tower in the Onaran Plains. Read the third entry. The Stone of Judgment found a place far north of the Isles where it rests among those dragons that were long dead. With the removal of the stones, the way was closed. So I have kept my silence. The only record of this event is found here. If it stands, the rest of time, the entries end here. I did not read the first entry. <laughs> I thought this was the first entry. <laughs> read the first entry. To the Watcher with the Stone of Vigilance, he to write the amendment to an outpost in the center of the Azure Span, northeast of the Azure Archives. Okay. So I read all of them. Now what? Take the watcher's log. Now, if I'm right, I'm about to be attacked. Yep, I told you. <laughs> oh, snap, it's Sarkaleth. Sarkaleth. The log is a. What do you mean it's. No. No, Sarkaleth. Oh, I'm gonna so enjoy beating you soon. Non-spoiler world. I, think I, I knew I was attacked. I didn't realize it was him that attacked me until now. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, I'm mad. Actually, while I'm here, I might as well pick up the elemental overflow. Well, the quality on the TV looks terrible. My wares are of the finest quality. You'll find nothing better in the aisles. All right. I don't know. I'm not even sure where to go next. I may not get this done tonight because of all this other... Grief. Uh 
Okay, so I have to go back to the Lydia about what I've learned. I mean, this ends up being a two-part quest anyway, so I'm going to just move Matori there. I'm disappointed because I was hoping to get more done, but I was also not expecting to be shut off, like, shut down twice from Streamlabs. And now I gotta figure out... It kind of sucks. But my the thing... Skarins of old used to Sorry, create Paul, fishing lures by extracting magic from the water elementals around the temple. But Would you Streamlabs collect some for us? booting me, and that's not good. So... I'm gonna park and Tori down here, and then I'm gonna call it a night. I mean, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to. Ah, I could use your expertise. Remember, there's magic in discovery. Attack by Lee the Sundered Flame in the heart of El Dragon, unprecedented and incredibly dangerous. The log is still for we'll be on the same path as agreed. We have no time to waste, Matori. I have answers if you have questions. Let me know what you find. I look forward to hearing what you've learned. This is learned. the one that made, that made me very not happy. Um, according to the Watcher's Logs, the stun of it that can be found, the Draconic Tower, on a river in the center of the... Oh, okay, no, it's different. I should be... Sar Skileth, be careful. We can be sure the Sunder Flame won't let us just walk in and take it. Once you're there for money. Matadi can retrieve the stone. Meet Matadi near Skyrim, Sar Skileth, whatever. Keep um, an eye out for anything interesting. The abandoned interesting. outpost. From what you mentioned, appears the Sunder Flame can be found. The abandoned northeast of the Azure Archives, that must be. Sorry. Meet with me when you arrive, Matadi. We can find the stone together and meet up with And the blood. Remember, there's this is magic the one that gave discovery. me Ajita. The city of the undead, the ancient city of the dead can... So city of the undead. City of the dead. The ancient city of the dead can only mean one thing. The vaulted ossuary off the coast of North Deldrasses. It's extensive, remote, and hard to approach. The perfect site place to hide something. But I'm not sure we'll find the inventory, but you can bet that it won't appreciate our presence. Meet with the leader in the, at the veiled Eldrasses. Well, this is the sort of quest that it makes me glad that I went and I gave up a little something to get Hex back. Let's just put it that way. Um, Let me know what you find. Because there's some control issues when it comes to uh, mobs in this one. So I'm going to leave this here. Or rather, I'm going to get the worst one out of the way first. Now I'm going to leave this here. And this is where I'm going to say goodnight. Um, and then I'm going to try to work on getting windows up again so I could use OBS to stream from. Um, that's how it has to be now. Because <laughs> Streamlabs, just, I'm sorry, just too many issues. Uh, anyway, let's see, now that I have this. Thank you for watching. Sorry about everything is cut up into little, little tiny pieces. Sorry, I'm fixing this a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. Um, sorry, terrible to watch it move around like that. Uh, but thank you for watching. Sorry about, again, the multiple different streams. Um, I'm going to download them and consolidate them and re-upload them. Not looking terrible. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to learn how to use OBS better. <sighs>